Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 14. And within this episode, I'm going to go over an email uh, that someone sent me. And they basically wanted to know how um, you do a little bit of uh, maintenance on the out of box drivers with MDT 2012. There's a lot of ways to do it. I want to show you the way I normally do it. Um, there's a bad way to not do it. There's pros and cons of it. Uh, one way is you don't want to ingest all your drivers inside of the out of box driver uh, section of the MDT 2012 workbench and then not and just uh, leave the task sequence to just only ingest everything in it because that's just a lot of nonsense um, being pushed out to your image. So, so what I've done so far, uh, I got my domain controller and I have my MDT server. I downloaded uh, a NIC driver for my local machine that I'm running all my virtual machines for and it's the NIC driver so I'm gonna extract this and uh, let's, let's put this stuff on the desktop okay Call it drivers. Sure. Okay, press OK on that. Make sure all my drivers in it. Excellent. So open my workbench and let's go to your out of box drivers. Okay. So a lot of people like to do this so many ways. Uh, you could right click on the out of box drivers, import the drivers, and that's it but there's no really organization in that so I like to do is create a new folder and actually type in the machine that the driver is coming from so this driver is actually for position uh, 55 M55 uh, M6500 so I'm actually creating a folder for that and if you want to break it even down further you create two more additional folders with the architect of the operating system so one for 86 and one for 64 bit create one more folder for the 64 bit again it's up to you uh, this is more of my best practice just to keep myself more organized when it comes down to updating the drivers rather than searching for them uh, I could just basically go directly to that folder and update them quickly um, I'm going to right click for 86. I'm going to import the drivers, the directory source for it, and it would be here. That's what I want. Import drivers even if they are duplicate or an existing. Don't really want this because if you have duplicates, it's just cluttering up your MDT server. And I don't think you want that. Let's hit next, next, and finish. There it goes. Double click on them. Make sure they're actually checked for 86 bit as well as they're enabled. So that's good. And let's do the 64 bit portion. Let's import a driver. Browse. Go into that folder. We're doing a 64 bit. OK. Next. Next. And finish. OK. So we exported uh, our drivers double click on this make sure it's 64 enabled good 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 okay so now it's time to uh, create a profile selection or a selection profile by default the task sequence is set to do all the drivers and I could basically show you that so let me go to my task sequence let me go to my Windows 64 bit double click on that go to task sequence and within the pre-install section, there's a re there's yeah in the pre-install folder there's ingest drivers. You have the ingest drivers to do all the drivers. Again, if you broke down if you broke down this into different levels and different machines, let's say if you have a bunch of RT plus 745, 620s, whatever, and you break it down to these folders, if this portion right here in the task sequence is all drivers you're gonna get all this junk ingested into your image and you really don't want that so we're actually gonna create 
a selection profile just for this machine and then go to the task sequence and create um, uh, what do you want to call it? We're going to create a uh, if if and else statement that allows us to check the machine that's being uh, imaged to see if this machine is actually an M6500, in our case, um, push this out. If not, go to the next statement, check if this is this, and then push this out. So to create a selection profile, you can right click, new selection profile, let's give it a name, and I'm going to make it real simple, and I'm going to keep it the same name of the machine. Give a little comment if you want, hit next. Pick what version you want. Like, let's say this selection profile, I'm going to do, um, you could do both. So I'm actually going to pick the entire thing for 86 and 64 bit. And once I do that, I hit next, hit next, hit finish. So I have my little profile right here that will only push out this. But now it's time to go to the task sequence to say, hey, task sequence, I want you to check if the machine that I'm pushing this image out, is it a 6500? Now, to make this work, you actually need to run a command on your machine so you can actually check the actual name of the model of it, okay? before we create our conditional statement. So I'm gonna go to my host machine, do a CMD, and I'm gonna do a CD backslash enter, CLS to clear it. And the command that I wanna do is a Windows um, command that allows you to, it actually tells you the name and uh, the hardware or the, the name of the computer. So I believe it's WMIC, computer name, computer system actually, one word, space git model. Okay, you hit enter, and if everything goes well, it gives you the model. And the model will be the Precision M6500. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Now, it's time, and go, it's time to go into our task sequence and create that. So I normally like to put this stuff in the pre-install and I go to refresh and I'm gonna add a general ingest driver, okay? Give it a name, it's up to you. I'm gonna keep it just ingest driver and the profile that I want is a precision M6500, okay? Install only the matching driver for this selection profile. Leave that as is. But now, if let's say you let's say I put a machine on my network that's a Atta Plus 65, and it reaches this point, most likely the drivers are not going to be pushed out. Why? Because it's not a precision 6500. It probably will, but in this case, we actually have to go to option and create a conditional statement to check if the machine is an M6500. If not, it will fail or it will continue if you have more ingest drivers in your task sequence. So I'm going to create add and I believe if I'm not mistaken, I want to do an if statement. Okay. Um, all conditions any conditions if all conditions that's what we want we want to edit this all conditions are true task sequence variable would be percent sign model percent side equals to and I believe will be precision M6500 okay variables the model okay because that's the variable right here okay equals to precision M6500 okay apply it 
Don't worry about the X. If I just click on something, it becomes uh, green. Check mark. And let's go to properties. Okay, choose selection. And if all conditions are true, task sequence variable model equals to precision M6500. Now, what I just did, I created an if conditional statement. The if conditional statement would basically when the task sequence hit this part, it's going to hit this. If the machine that's being deployed, the image is an M6500, this profile is going to hit. Most likely, if you guys have multiple machines, that means you're going to have multiple of these. Now, I will go to my, I will go to this section because remember, this section right here is pushing out all the drivers. I don't want that. I'm going to disable this step, apply it, and OK. And that's about it. Once you've done all that, you go right click on your deployment, update the deployment chair, and then you're good to go. Uh, that's my best practices in managing the out of box drivers. Again, if you guys have other ways of managing it or other ways of doing it, I know there's a more techie way of doing it, and that's creating a database. Uh, hopefully, in uh, future episodes, I'll probably do a video on that and uh, see if I could get a SQL database attached to my MDT and show you guys how to automate uh, automate that with uh, a SQL database. Uh, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, check out my other videos on BJ Tech News uh, YouTube channel as well as check out my blog uh, bjtechnews.wordpress.com and I hope you guys enjoy the video and i uh, check you out later. Thanks.